Do you have a badge? <laughs> Are you harassing me? <laughs> I feel like TikTok is amazing. That shit will have you addicted and scrolling for three hours, five hours, eleven hours. Three hours minimum because of let's scroll. I think TikTok has taken the world by storm. I think I started using TikTok in 2018 and since then I never stopped using it. I feel that it's a very a rapidly growing platform for video creators. There's a lot of content there so you don't really get bored. The algorithm caters to you so it's pretty much um things that you like to watch. Hell yeah! I think no one can top TikTok right now when it comes to videos. Except maybe YouTube. I feel like people will watch videos on TikTok more. Like spend longer time in there. Because the algorithm is so good. And the videos just don't stop playing. It's like if you feed me food and the food doesn't stop coming, it's the same thing. I'll just keep eating. Actually, I don't agree because I feel that uh, YouTube is still kind of like one of the top platforms for video or like content creation in general. But I feel that TikTok is the king for short form videos like 30 seconds, one minute. I like jokes. Very much like Vine, I guess. There's no real purpose to their content. It's just weird. It doesn't make sense. And that's what's so good about it. And that's what my For You page is all about. Deku! Eden Yeager! Shut up before I use my charring gun. I think I see a lot of skits. There's this guy who pretends to be like a white lady. And he acts uh, as though like he's in the movie. Like seeing her children going off to school and she just stands there like me for a cup of coffee I, I like parodies of memes yeah I think Kyra know where I'm getting at right now Like SG TikTok mostly because SG TikTok has a lot of uh, satirical references. Don't you intimidate me, all right? Don't you intimidate me, all right? Do you have a badge? <laughs> are you harassing me? <laughs> I'm from Hua Chong, okay, and my cousins are all from are all lawyers. I think that in general brands should be on TikTok because that's where most of your younger viewers will be. There are people of older ages on TikTok, you'd be surprised. It's where the hype is right now for most of the hype, I feel. I think yes and no, because I don't think all businesses should be on TikTok, but if a company, like what they're trying to sell, particularly B2C brands, I think they'll do a lot better on TikTok. So you cannot come off as a business. You need to be like one of the people. I don't think hierarchy exists on TikTok. We're all on equal ground. I mean, definitely there are influencers and stuff, but unlike IG, they don't have the power. The power in TikTok comes from the ordinary people who come up with genuine, funny, relatable content that's not meant to please others. Because people can smell this, okay? People can smell like, oh my God. This smells like fake. We have to do something that's on trend. Every day or every few hours, there will be new trends that someone from a corner of the world came up with and then it starts to snowball and everyone is doing it. For example, like BTS just released their new um, song, after. So I think that if you create stuff that is related to like BTS song and you like link it with the music, right? I think it will be a hit. Try to catch up because if you do a trend that's like not so current anymore, it's gonna look very weird. It depends. TikTok ads sometimes work for me, sometimes it doesn't. You might be surprised. TikTok ads that were not shot professionally catches my attention more than professionally taken 9 by 16 ad. And also why it doesn't work for me. Once my eyes recognize that it's an ad, I will immediately like swipe out because I'm not interested in the ad. I can only think of the one that Apple did. Apple was trying to promote their brand new AirPods Pro. I actually don't think it's new. I think it's been there for a long time. They're just like remarketing it again. But when I first saw the ad, I didn't even know it was an ad because it looked like a real casual TikTok. If it's not intrusive, your ad is gonna be a hit on TikTok. So, learn from Apple guys. Buy from Apple guys. We're a cult guys. Yeah, definitely. I would recommend uh, businesses to start short video marketing on TikTok. I mean, it also, it also depends on your target audience and uh, who you're reaching out to. But then, I think it's a good step for every business to, to try and soak your feet into the TikTok water. Yes. 
but it really just depends I guess but I think TikTok is the new age platform that a lot of people are talking about it now and a lot of people are joining it now if you want to come into TikTok you have to come prepared you have to bring all your guns out your shields out because if you just go there to make like ordinary content don't waste your money don't waste your time bring your claws out Meow. Some points that they have to take note is really to study what's very current in the TikTok landscape. I guess hire someone very young to settle your TikTok content. They would be glad to spend all day ideating short video content for you. It's good to be funny but don't be cringy, don't be corny. If you're not a joker, hire someone who is and they'll make the content a lot better for you. Don't make it just so you can satisfy Gen Z people like me. You know, I can always find your brand in another social media platform anyways. Just don't come into TikTok just for the sake of it. I would say do some research first so you know how TikTok works and not like just hopping onto this bandwagon of like oh my god I want to join TikTok. Seems fun. Research what kind of music you want to link it with and what kind of um, editing style you want to go for and what you want to show in the video. Is that it? Oh my god! Thank me! Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you.